Hello YouTube world, this is Alonzo with CB Graphics Airbrush Art and I was asked by some of my viewers and subscribers to explain some of the different materials that I use uh, when I'm painting different surfaces so I'm going to give you a quick rundown uh, this right here is a circuit expression machine and it's good because it's cheap you know, everybody can't afford the expensive one, I know I can't so I got a little circuit expression machine and what you do you buy the cartridges and you place the cartridge in the machine uh, type up what you want it to say and then you print it out it's great I think I got it for like 150 bucks um, depending on the surface or should I say depending on the canvas or what I'm painting depends on what kind of paint I use um, when I do t-shirts I use um, badger paint I either use Badger Paints, I don't know if y'all can see that, or uh, Createx when I do t-shirts. And normally I use my Iwata Clips and I spray it at 40 PSI, but most airbrush artists use um, bottom feed airbrush guns. And you know everybody has their own preference. Um, when I'm doing computers and all, sometimes I use my own... Um, Auto air paints. It's a water based paint and it's a pretty good paint. And the reducer is the 411 reducer. Um, when I'm spraying on a car hood or helmets, I like to use House of Color. It's a urethane paint and it's good for holding up in the sun with the UV rays. If I'm pinstriping something, I go with Custom Shop. House of Color um, makes one, but Custom Shop's more affordable for me. Of course, you know your own um, respirator. Uh, I use Createx Airbrush Restore when I clean my airbrush guns. This is what I use here. I also use Createx Airbrush Cleaner. Right after I'm done with a color and cleaning, I will spray that through the airbrush gun. Right now I'm using a Iwata Eclipse and this right here is the air trap on it. It catches the water and all you do is hit the valve right here and it will release the uh, pressure of the uh, water out. That's another line of defense so you don't have the water shooting through and give you that um, splatter effect. Um, a lot of people spend a lot of money on airbrush guns, uh, but in the four years I've been airbrushing, I found that it's not the airbrush gun, it's the artist. So, you can take a great airbrush artist, give him the cheapest airbrush gun, and he can still make the same, make the, um, make magic happen, if y'all get what I mean. Yeah, I hope this helps out. Okay, I forgot to add the last um, little bit of stuff I used. Um, I am an artist, so I can draw, and I do freehand a lot of stuff. But for those who do not know how to draw, they make projectors. And this right here is a tracer projector. And what it does is you print the picture out in black and white, and you can project the image. For example, you can project the image onto a shirt trace it and then you can airbrush it um, my big sprayers for when I'm spraying like a car hood or a helmet or something for the t-shirt artist you know you're gonna want your heat press and this is just a uh, I don't know if I can see that a heat press machine right there I think I got this one for like 300 bucks right here you know for um setting your um picture in so when you wash it it don't come out uh let's see what else compressors got different compressors depending on what you need i don't know if you can see but that miniature compressor this is what i started off with the very first time i got this for like 75 bucks at a little hobby store then i moved up to this compressor here i don't know if you can see that uh, right there and now i'm using the a bigger compressor 
and like I was saying with the airbrush guns see this is a good example right here how you can project the image I print these out then I can project the uh, image onto the shirt and trace it and give you an example like that picture there I don't know if y'all seen the video I freehanded that then I have this right here which I used a projector and projected it and I don't know if you've seen the video of that I used the projector and projected that image um, with the airbrush guns like I was saying you don't have to always buy the expensive airbrush gun this is the master airbrush uh, model G65 series I paid like 175 maybe two hundred dollars for all these airbrush guns right here and a lot of the stuff when I first started I was using these airbrush guns here so like I said it's not the airbrush gun it's the artist um, different kind of um, masking tape and masking on um, film you know what you do you just lay it down you draw your picture out then you cut it out similar like a stencil you know you got your surreal transfer paper tracing paper you can use carbon paper I mean it's a, it's a lot of techniques and you know of course you can use stencils but if it's anything that I can um, help y'all on feel free to send me a um, quick email alright until next time